Hey, all right, 55 here, welcoming you to Let's Play Quake Missing Pack 1, Scores of Armagon. Now, at the end of Quake, I did actually mention that, um, I have already done videos on the, uh, Quake expansions, but... I'm not really too fond of any of my older videos, uh, mainly because I sounded terrible, and my mics made me sound terrible, so... Also, it's less, less experience and all that kind of stuff, so... So the fact that we just finished Quake gives, a, gives me a good excuse to go back and redo all of them things of the Quake expansions. Except, uh, no promises on the other ones beyond this one. Um, <laughs> I might, I'm not 100% sure, but um... This one's the main one I'm really wanting to redo, mainly because this is actually like one of my favorite Quake sings, really. I mean, it's effectively Quake, but more, sort of like, because uh, for those of you who don't really know how um, the expansions work, that expansions are effectively sort of like a new game based off the old game's engine. I mean, it's still Quake, but it's like, you got a whole new, whole new story, a whole new, like, bunch of new enemies, bunch of new weapons, all those things. Sort of like the DLC of the past, sort of thing. Um, but yeah, so this is Quake, Scords of Armagon. Start out here, we're in a, we're in a place. Um, now if you remember the end of Quake, we sort of, uh, beat up Subnegros from the inside. Um, it was kind of gory and, uh, stuff. Uh, ignoring the whole health box thing. Um... But you might be wondering how we got here, and there's actually a story explaining how we're in this place. Um, basically, um, this is all in the manual. Uh, basically, Quake guy found a slipgate, got teleported to the military base, found it to be abandoned, and then was like, oh, well, dang, I guess I better go kick Quake people's asses again. So, yeah, that's the story of the story. And now... The first thing they really want to sew off is the new Enzyme tech being... Oh man! Things can rotate now. Yes, before in the, uh, in the original Enzyme, you couldn't actually rotate anything. Um, you could only move things on the X, Y, Z axis. But now, you can actually say things like heading, banking, and all that stuff. Now, there's only three rotation vectors, Rai. You, you could have listed the last one, but I didn't. Um, but yeah, so another, another way that, um, Armagon is set up differently is that it's, um, it's more linear than, um, the original Quake. In Quake, you had the episode selections, uh, where you could choose from the four episodes and do them in any order. But here, uh, the game is played completely linearly, so what the start map does is it technically gives you a bit of an adventure to see where all the difficulties are and sort of a... Sort of choose your own adventure thing. So like we go into the hard difficulty and find this room. What's? Oh man, we just totally like flew all the way up here. But yeah, by the way, another thing. Just, there's anti grab areas because that's another thing they did. Here's hard difficulty. We're not gonna be choosing hard difficulty. Can you guess what difficulty we're gonna be choosing? Ah, oh, you got me. It's easy. No, actually. Um, but yeah, so sort of thing. Do so your own adventure. So let's go around. Let's go. Let's go take a look around here. Oh man, look at them lights that aren't actually really lighting up much of the hallway. Uh, probably because the actual light source here. Let's see here. No clip. We take a. Hello. Oh, plus no clip. Oh, I know why that happened. Actually, hold on, undo that. Do it in the air. There we go. Uh, can I go down? No, okay. But, uh, sort of this thing here is that, um... Oh, look, it's just kind of a laser that's shooting at a wall. And, uh, that's a sort of how this lighting is happening. That's kind of a thing. The reason there was a plus in the console menu is because I use plus as my recording key. And apparently that's given to the console when, uh, you know, I start up the recording. So that's a thing. That's a fun thing. Uh, here's normal gate. You know, it's kind of a thing. Slip gate selects normal easy. The normal skill, not the normal easy skill. That's that's not a real skill. Look at the sky. That is a sky, by the way. Uh, by the way, um, they introduce uh, bullet holes in this, and yes, you can put bullet holes in the sky, and it's amazing. 
Look at that, look at that. Beautiful. Them beautiful, I could count them, pixels. That's how many pixels there are. I could count them. Probably on two hands. Um, here's a bunch of crates. We'll, we'll ignore that. We'll ignore that. There's, there's, not, there's nothing that could possibly be there. And uh, here's, here's where the easy skill is. There's just kind of a pass between the normal and easy skills, because why not? So let's get started. Okay, no. Um, but uh, if, if we come up here and take a bit of a look, for one, we can find... Uh, there's a new thing here. There's a sort of a force field-like thing, but uh, hey, there's something in there. Oh man, look at that acid there being all realistically bobbing up and down, like actual water or something, maybe. Oh man, the new engine is so great. But if you ignore that and look over here, you might see, huh, that looks like an elevator and that leads out from over here. Hey. So if you take a look over here, oh man, there's like a place you can go and there's even an arrow saying, hey, you can go up or suit the sign, whatever you want. It's going to waste all my ammo just making bullet holes. Uh, if you really want, you can jump down there. Uh, that will open up if you uh, want want out. Fun thing. Things that move will not receive bullet holes. So you can tell well, that's going to move because it doesn't leave a bullet hole. I have two thoughts left. What am I going to waste them on? Uh, here's the Nightmare skill, by the way. You know, it's hidden away. They, it's like tradition to like hide away the Nightmare skill so that unsuspecting players just don't wander into it and die horrendously. Um, this kind of a thing. Also, you know, we can look over here. And light sound. It's coming from like the middle of the two lights, which doesn't make any sense because there's no light there. Alright. Hold on, I need to use this ammo on something. Um, uh, the wall. There we go, we did it. Uh, another fun thing about this map, um, this is before before we get started here, if you play on death maps, uh, there's actually a couple wind tunnels uh, added to the map uh, that let you just kind of, you know, wind tunnel around. This is kind of a thing. Fun little death maps differences for the maps, because, you know, all of the campaign maps are playable in death maps. And, uh, um,. Scores of Armagon only has one proper deathmatch map assigned to it. Um, all the original Quake maps are available, but they aren't in the map list. So, um, that's kind of a thing. But anyways, let's get started here and get on with the, the Scores of Armagon on Nightmare Skill, because I must always choose the hardest difficulty on this because reasons or something. Anyways, part of the story here is that, um, we're trying to... We're trying to see if we can get in here without, like, really... Get, we'll, that we'll do some damage before they really know that we're here. And uh, this is kind of shown by the fact that, um... These two guys are doing a really good job of guarding this door. Um, I like how, like, apparently enemies are completely deaf. Uh, they aren't deaf when it comes to you shooting bullets, though. Because if, if I shoot this guy, um, both of them will notice me. However... There's just a bit of a quirk with the AI where if you don't have a line of sight with, a, with an enemy, and you shoot your gun, it won't notice. So I just kind of, you know, killed off that guy, and he had no idea. There we go. He only got one sawed off on us. Oh man, we got cells. Oh man, that's a thing. By the way, we're going to be seeing a lot of enforcers. For reasons. Hey, I saw you. Like four times? Come on. I had to see you like six times. Alright, another guy here. I need your ammo. Give. There we go. I'm not gonna go too far in there. Alright. Grunts. Take it over here now. At least, like, it's. Oh, hey. Oh, that's convenient. At least, like, in the games, they don't, like, ever sound an alarm that, like, alerts all the enemies in the level. That's convenient. But yeah, now we've got the nail gun. What's- Oh man, we have the nail gun. You know what else has the nail gun? This thing. Just, uh, just try to see what that does here. Uh, that's a new enemy, by the way. You might have, uh, seen it in the intro when I was talking about things. But that's a centroid. It's a new enemy. It also killed that, um, run. Apparently. But, uh, yeah, that's Centroid. It effectively has dual nail guns for weapons, and uh, well, as could be as could be guessed from its scorpion appearance, uh, it could sting you if you get too close. That's kind of a thing. Hey guys, how's it going? I have a laser cannon now. 
Another new weapon. Turns out, all of the new things. I could probably have, like, used the socket on, the, on these guys instead of wasting my, you know, laser cannon. But yeah, laser cannon, new weapon, being it suits lasers. I mean, obviously. Uh, the lasers do actually, when you suit them, they bounce off walls, so that's kind of neat and good way to clear up, clear up hallways and stuff. Also, um, it's kind of an interesting thing is that, um, the first shot will always fire two. That's a dot's that. But the second shot will always fire one. So you could all, you could theoretically just be more conservative with your ammo by, like, massing the friggin' trigger instead of holding it. In theory, you'd be able to do more damage that way. Yeah, that's the sound a force field makes. Hey! There's a guy. Oh, I must have ticked off somebody on that briz over there. Um... Let's take that. Let's do that and reveal a secret area! Which is just kinda, you know, a little cupboard with a ring of shadows in it. So, you know, just, you know, it's, it's fine. Let's use this to our advantage, I guess. Hi guys, how's it going? Oh, he almost had he almost got a sawed off on me. That would have been tragic. Also, yeah, enemies will not notice you when you see it with the ring of shadows. Cause that would be silly if they did. I mean not like these things have ears or anything. It's like, who's that suiting? I'm gonna switch weapons. Before I get myself killed. Hey! Hey there, rocket launcher. This is, you know, it's a rocket launcher. We're in the first level. We got a rocket launcher. Um, it's, it's fine. I'm, I'm sure this will not have any percussions at all. A rocket's a bit well down this pipe right here. Oh, man. And th this is just the reason they give you the rocket launcher, is so you can do this. Oh, man. Debris. That's something new and we haven't seen before. Well, there's a wetsuit in here, but there's also an explosive box. That was a good destruction. Presser doors have opened. So yeah, around the level, we haven't really seen any of them, but there are presser doors that um, have been locked because of pumping reasons. I'm actually not sure why. Um, it's, a, it's a really strange thing, really. Um, I'll leave those guys to there for listen. Um, Alright, let's take this. This is a wetsuit, by the way. I talked about it a bit in the uh, Quake Let's Play, but it effectively lets you swim faster. It also makes you immune to electricity. Uh, sadly, nothing actually uses electricity in these few levels here. At least in the first few. Alright. Huh? <laughs> Ruin his day. Okay. Yeah, beyond, beyond that, the wetsuit doesn't do much. It doesn't protect you from, uh, from friggin' acid like the, uh, bio suit does, by the way. Secret. Hey! Cell's up there. Found the secret area. It's so dark in here. Hey, that's better. It's like clap on light switch, except you just have to talk about it. You just have to say, man, I really wish the lights were on, and then bam, the lights are on. It's really good. Man. Rocket launch is too good. Alright. Um, I think we're good. Now, if you hear that portal, if you hear that portal, I'm pretty sure that's the mistake on the developer's part. Because where that portal is, isn't a monster closet. Uh, you know, one of those boxes outside of the level. Um, yeah, so. Uh, it wasn't on before, but when the enemies teleported in, that turned on. And as a kid, this drove me crazy, because it's like, what's beyond this wall? I mean, until I typed in no clip and found out. But, um, it's like, like, I'm missing a secret in the level. Where is it? Is it here? No, it isn't. It's just, you know, it's just, yeah. It's not a deathmatch portal. Um, yeah, the whole deathmatch portal thing, I'm pretty sure I'm completely making up. Because, in most instances where there is a deathmatch portal, like right behind this wall right here, uh, they actually have the portal turned off. So, um, you don't actually hear the sound. So, when I was saying all that stuff about, there's a deathmatch portal behind this thing, 
that's, yeah, that's me making up things. I apologize for everything. Um, but yeah, so, let's continue on. Hey, we're back here. Oh, that's fun. Um, make sure my computer is still going. Oh, dude, I forgot to do a thing here. Turn on this, so hopefully my recording will never desync. There we go. It turns out having processes that take up sings is a thing. Alright, um, laser cannon's fine. The fun thing about the laser cannon, you can, you can use it underwater. It will not... Hello? Hello? It's, um, not like the, uh, thunderbolt or lightning gun, where if you use it underwater, it will just kill you. No, it's a bit better than that. There we go. Build all them... All them sings! Hey guys, what are we guarding? Quake Guy will come in here any moment, and he will ruin our days. Oh wait! I'm Quake Guy! <laughs> Silly me. Okay, no. Um, so, a bit of a thing over here. You might have noticed this wall here has, like, really poor shadows on it. Um, there's also a switch up there. Yes! I got up here! Finally! For once in my life. Uh, the being up here is pointless, however. However, inside of here, we find another new weapon, being the proximity gun. Or the proximity mine launcher, or whatever. Effectively, what this does is it suits proximity mines, what stick to walls. And if things get near, it explodes. It's pretty great. I love this gun more than I should. Because it's like, you shoot it around a corner, you hear the beep, and then it explodes, and then you hear the pain sound of whatever you just caught. <laughs> it's too good. Any moment. There we go. Anyone else? Uh, no. Mines will also trigger other mines, so just keep that in mind. Ah, oh well, I'll stop trying, apparently. I. Lost my ability to clear that, alright. But oh man, now we have... We have quite a few weapons now. Geez, we're in the first level. So many weapons. All of the options. Hello. Uh, the laser cannon, sir. I'll use some cells to get some cells. Done. Alright. Don't want to use up. Use up all of our ammo, I mean. Gotta save some for, like... The bigger dudes and the centroids. What's our. Yeah, the centroids are effectively our sampler stand in until we start encountering samplers. Just, you know. It's, 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 ow! I hit my head on the switz. It was painful. Alright. Ah! How's it going? You're right there. Uh, now, if you remember behind that force field, um. By the way, yeah, this is the other side of that, so we were over there before. If you remember, there was a centroid beyond this door, so, um... It moved. I don't know why it moved, actually. Are you dead? You're dead. Alright, it's dead. Everyone died! Hooray! I'm glad at this fact. Not sure why it moved. Maybe it saw something else was moving about. But that's... Enemies don't move when... But, whatever. Uh, press this button, turns off the force field. Oh, man. It's like a glorified invisible wall, except you can turn it off. How good are we? We got a number out of number of monsters, and oh no, we're missing a secret, but... Wait a minute. There's something back! Hey! There's the switz on this box. See what the switz, and then these boxes have kids. Just, you know, it's, it's fine. So, that's how more boxes are made. You just get more boxes uh, from boxes. Hey, fine that the back of this thing is actually hollow. Um, I'm sure that's how slip gates work, but um, that should be everything for this level. Walk through the slip gate to exit. Oh man, I done did walk through that exit to slip gate. Wait, I think I said that backwards. Um, whoops. 